Welcome to this transformative self-coaching program designed to help you integrate and heal the pattern and beliefs of feeling abandoned. This is an emotional EMDR mini course whose goal is to guide you through a process of understanding, reframing, and building resilience to this pattern or belief. It is recommended that you use this program in full screen mode, while sitting still and upright. Follow the movements of the ball or pattern on the screen with your eyes. As the words from the audio are spoken, notice the feelings they evoke in your body and any mental images that may arise. If your mind starts to wander, gently redirect your focus back to the moving ball or pattern. Optionally, or if you are not able to use video, you can also tap on one or more EFT points. How it works. In step one, we evoke the distressful emotional state of the belief or pattern. Note. This can be emotionally triggering, so take the necessary precautions for this. In step two, we offer ourselves loving, compassionate self-acceptance for this state and beliefs. We then reframe the belief, pattern or state with new positive suggestions to the mind. We then bridge the mind into the new, more positive reality. We finally express gratitude for the new positive reality, taking it as fact. Ready. Section 1. Unpacking emotional experiences. We begin with a setup of the issue. Even though I struggle with this pattern, I choose to still deeply love, honor and accept myself, and I am open to a more empowering state of being. Take a deep breath. I always felt my parents were emotionally unavailable to me, I never felt heard or seen. In my childhood, I experienced a deep sense of loss when my caregiver left, embedding a fear of abandonment in me. I carried this unexplained feeling of being left out, as if I was reliving my ancestors' abandonment experiences. I believed that I was destined to be abandoned, a pattern I thought I inherited from past lives. Growing up, I often felt isolated and different, as if my peers deliberately excluded me. I constantly struggled with feelings of insecurity and loneliness, feeling like I didn't belong anywhere. Depression and anxiety were my constant companions, stemming from my fear of being alone. In relationships, I was either too clingy, always needing reassurance, or I pushed people away, fearing getting too close. I developed a belief that I was unworthy of love, which made me sabotage my own relationships. I found myself constantly expecting rejection, interpreting even small actions as signs of impending abandonment. My fear of abandonment made me avoid intimate relationships, as I thought it was safer to be alone. I often felt misunderstood and unloved, believing that no one could truly care for me. In my career, I avoided taking risks and shied away from opportunities, fearing failure and subsequent rejection. I struggled with authority figures, always feeling like they would eventually find a reason to dismiss me. Working in teams was hard. I felt like an outsider, worried that my colleagues would leave me out. I believed that happiness and fulfillment were not meant for me, as abandonment seemed my life's theme. Relationships felt like a minefield, where I was constantly waiting for the other shoe to drop. I held a deep-seated belief that being abandoned was a fundamental part of my identity. I often replayed past rejections in my mind, convincing myself that they defined my future. Feeling unloved, I developed coping mechanisms that further isolated me from others. I avoided deep connections, as I believed they would only lead to more pain and abandonment. Despite craving closeness, I felt safer in my own company. Reinforcing my isolation, I believed that no matter how hard I tried, I would always end up alone. I viewed the world as a place where I couldn't find lasting connections or safety. I live with a constant fear that those I care about will eventually leave me, as they always have. Section 2. Feel into this balanced, compassionate perspective from your inner coach. Maintain your attention on the EMDR screen, following the movements of the shape or pattern with your eyes. I gently acknowledge my feelings of not being heard or seen by my parents, it reflects a deep longing for connection. I lovingly accept the deep sense of loss I felt in childhood, it signifies my capacity for strong attachments. 
I compassionately embrace my feelings of being left out, seeing them as echoes of ancestral experiences. I kindly understand my belief of being destined for abandonment, recognizing it as a narrative from past lives. I warmly hold my feelings of isolation and difference from my peers, recognizing my unique path. I tenderly acknowledge my struggles with insecurity and loneliness, seeing them as part of my search for belonging. I compassionately recognize my companionship with depression and anxiety, understanding they stem from my fear of solitude. I lovingly accept my behavior in relationships, whether clingy or distant, as a response to my deep need for security. I embrace my belief of being unworthy of love, seeing it as a call for deeper self-compassion. I gently acknowledge my expectation of rejection, understanding it as a protective mechanism. I warmly hold my fear of abandonment, recognizing it as a reason for my cautious approach to intimacy. I tenderly acknowledge my feelings of being misunderstood and unloved, seeing them as a desire for authentic connection. I compassionately understand my avoidance of risks in my career, recognizing it as fear of rejection. I lovingly recognize my struggle with authority figures, seeing it as a reflection of my fear of dismissal. I gently accept my feelings of being an outsider in teams, understanding it as a part of my quest for inclusion. I hold my belief that happiness and fulfillment aren't meant for me, seeing it as a reflection of my life experiences. I compassionately embrace my perception of relationships as a minefield, recognizing it as fear of the unknown. I kindly acknowledge my deep-seated belief of abandonment as part of my identity, seeing it as a narrative to understand. I warmly accept my habit of replaying past rejections, understanding it as a way of making sense of my experiences. I tenderly hold my development of coping mechanisms, seeing them as attempts to protect myself. I lovingly recognize my avoidance of deep connections, understanding it as fear of pain and abandonment. I compassionately accept my preference for solitude, recognizing it as a safety strategy. I gently acknowledge my belief of inevitable loneliness, seeing it as a reflection of my past struggles. I warmly hold my view of the world as lacking lasting connections or safety, understanding it as part of my experience. I tenderly accept my constant fear of losing those I care about, recognizing it as an expression of my deep care. Section 3. Visualizing Positive Change. Take a deep breath. I am choosing now to embrace my capacity for deep connection, transcending past experiences of feeling unheard. I am open to the healing power of acknowledging my childhood loss, cultivating resilience in my attachments. I could consider the strength in my ancestral journey, finding empowerment in my sense of belonging. It would be nice if I recognized the lessons from past lives, using them to build stronger bonds in the present. It is possible that my unique path is a gateway to discovering my true self, away from the crowd. I can start to find strength in my loneliness, turning it into a journey towards self-belonging. I am willing to explore the transformation of my fears into a path for inner peace and self-acceptance. I have the opportunity to balance my relationship dynamics, finding security within myself. I am capable of cultivating self-love, transforming my belief of unworthiness into self-empowerment. I embrace the idea of interpreting actions more positively, fostering a mindset of acceptance rather than rejection. I am ready to courageously engage in intimate relationships, embracing vulnerability as a strength. I am beginning to see the value in being understood and loved for my authentic self, nurturing genuine connections. I am receptive to taking calculated risks in my career, seeing them as opportunities for growth and acceptance. I am shifting towards building constructive relationships with authority, focusing on mutual respect and understanding. I am open-minded about finding my place in teams, embracing collaboration and inclusivity. I am allowing myself to believe that happiness and fulfillment are within my reach, rewriting my life's narrative. I can imagine navigating relationships with confidence, turning apprehension into opportunities for deeper connections. It might be beneficial to redefine my identity, focusing on my strengths and positive attributes. I am prepared to let go of past rejections, envisioning a future defined by my choices, not my fears.
I am choosing to focus on developing healthy coping mechanisms, fostering connections rather than isolation. I am open to the possibility of building meaningful connections, embracing the joy and growth they bring. I can see the potential for enjoying my solitude while also seeking fulfilling relationships. I am becoming more aware of my ability to create a fulfilling life, surrounded by love and support. I am starting to believe in a world where I can find safety and lasting connections. I am ready to let go of the fear of loss, embracing the stability and love in my current relationships. Section 4. Bridging the two worlds from emotion to aspiration. Remember to maintain your focus on the EMDR screen, following the movements of the shape or pattern with your eyes. Even though I always felt my parents were emotionally unavailable to me, I never felt hurt or seen, I gently acknowledge these feelings and their reflection of my longing for connection, and I am choosing now to embrace my capacity for deep connection, transcending past experiences of feeling unheard. Although in my childhood, I experienced a deep sense of loss when my caregiver left, embedding a fear of abandonment in me, I lovingly accept this loss as a sign of my capacity for strong attachments, and I am open to the healing power of acknowledging this loss, cultivating resilience in my attachments. Even though I carried this unexplained feeling of being left out, as if I was reliving my ancestors' abandonment experiences, I compassionately embrace these feelings as echoes of ancestral experiences, and I could consider the strength in my ancestral journey, finding empowerment in my sense of belonging. Although I believed that I was destined to be abandoned, a pattern I thought I inherited from past lives, I kindly understand this belief as a narrative from past lives, and it would be nice if I recognize the lessons from these lives, using them to build stronger bonds in the present. Even though growing up, I often felt isolated and different, as if my peers deliberately excluded me, I warmly hold these feelings, recognizing my unique path and it is possible that my unique path is a gateway to discovering my true self, away from the crowd. Although I constantly struggled with feelings of insecurity and loneliness, feeling like I didn't belong anywhere, I tenderly acknowledge these struggles as part of my search for belonging, and I can start to find strength in my loneliness, turning it into a journey towards self-belonging. Even though depression and anxiety were my constant companions, stemming from my fear of being alone, I compassionately recognize them as part of my fear of solitude, and I am willing to explore transforming these fears into a path for inner peace and self-acceptance. Although in relationships, I was either too clingy, always needing reassurance, or pushed people away, fearing getting too close, I lovingly accept this behavior as a response to my need for security, and I have the opportunity to balance my relationship dynamics, finding security within myself. Even though I developed a belief that I was unworthy of love, which made me sabotage my own relationships, I embrace this belief as a call for deeper self-compassion, and I am capable of cultivating self-love, transforming this belief of unworthiness into self-empowerment. Although I found myself constantly expecting rejection, interpreting even small actions as signs of impending abandonment, I gently acknowledge this expectation as a protective mechanism, and I embrace the idea of interpreting actions more positively, fostering a mindset of acceptance rather than rejection. Even though my fear of abandonment made me avoid intimate relationships, as I thought it was safer to be alone, I warmly hold this fear, recognizing it as a cautious approach to intimacy, and I am ready to courageously engage in intimate relationships, embracing vulnerability as a strength. Although I often felt misunderstood and unloved, believing that no one could truly care for me, I tenderly acknowledge these feelings as a desire for authentic connection, and I am beginning to see the value in being understood and loved for my authentic self, nurturing genuine connections. Even though in my career, I avoided taking risks and shied away from opportunities, fearing failure and subsequent rejection, I compassionately understand this avoidance as fear of rejection, and I am receptive to taking calculated risks in my career, seeing them as opportunities for growth and acceptance. Although I struggled with authority figures, always feeling like they would eventually find a reason to dismiss me, I lovingly recognize this struggle as a reflection of my fear of dismissal, and I am shifting towards building constructive relationships with authority, 
focusing on mutual respect and understanding. Even though working in teams was hard, I felt like an outsider, worried that my colleagues would leave me out. I gently accept these feelings, understanding them as part of my quest for inclusion, and I am open-minded about finding my place in teams, embracing collaboration and inclusivity. Although I believed that happiness and fulfillment were not meant for me, as abandonment seemed my life's theme, I hold this belief, seeing it as a reflection of my life experiences, and I am allowing myself to believe that happiness and fulfillment are within my reach, rewriting my life's narrative. Even though relationships felt like a minefield, where I was constantly waiting for the other shoe to drop, I compassionately embrace this perception, recognizing it as fear of the unknown, and I can imagine navigating relationships with confidence, turning apprehension into opportunities for deeper connections. Although I held a deep-seated belief that being abandoned was a fundamental part of my identity, I kindly acknowledge this belief as a narrative to understand, and it might be beneficial to redefine my identity, focusing on my strengths and positive attributes. Even though I often replayed past rejections in my mind, convincing myself that they defined my future, I warmly accept this habit, understanding it as a way of making sense of my experiences, and I am prepared to let go of past rejections, envisioning a future defined by my choices, not my fears. Although feeling unloved, I developed coping mechanisms that further isolated me from others, I tenderly hold these developments, seeing them as attempts to protect myself, and I am choosing to focus on developing healthy coping mechanisms, fostering connections rather than isolation. Even though I avoided deep connections, as I believed they would only lead to more pain and abandonment, I lovingly recognize this avoidance as fear of pain and abandonment, and I am open to the possibility of building meaningful connections, embracing the joy and growth they bring. Although despite craving closeness, I felt safer in my own company, reinforcing my isolation, I compassionately accept this preference as a safety strategy, and I can see the potential for enjoying my solitude while also seeking fulfilling relationships. Even though I believed that no matter how hard I tried, I would always end up alone, I gently acknowledge this belief as a reflection of my past struggles, and I am becoming more aware of my ability to create a fulfilling life, surrounded by love and support. Although I viewed the world as a place where I couldn't find lasting connections or safety, I warmly hold this view, understanding it as part of my experience, and I am starting to believe in a world where I can find safety and lasting connections. Even though I live with a constant fear that those I care about will eventually leave me, as they always have, I tenderly accept this fear, recognizing it as an expression of my deep care, and I am ready to let go of the fear of loss, embracing the stability and love in my current relationships. If you were tapping, you can stop as we go into gratitude. Section 5. Preemptive Gratitude for Transformation. These affirmations are designed to uplift your spirit, align you with your highest self, and resonate with the boundless love and support that the universe offers you. I am grateful for the deep connections I now cultivate, feeling seen and heard in every interaction. I appreciate the strength and resilience I have developed, transforming my past losses into sources of growth. I am thankful for my ancestral wisdom, guiding me to a strong sense of belonging and empowerment. I cherish the lessons learned from past lives, grateful for their guidance in fostering stronger bonds now. I am grateful for my unique path, which has led me to self-discovery and authentic expression. I value the strength found in my solitude, now a source of self-belonging and inner peace. I am thankful for transforming my fears into a journey of inner peace and self-acceptance. I appreciate my balanced relationships, finding security within and with others. I am grateful for cultivating self-love, turning my past beliefs of unworthiness into self-empowerment. I cherish my new mindset of acceptance, interpreting actions positively and fostering loving connections. I am thankful for the courage to engage in intimate relationships, embracing vulnerability as a source of strength. I appreciate being understood and loved for my authentic self, nurturing genuine and fulfilling connections. I am grateful for the growth and acceptance I've found in taking risks and seizing opportunities in my career. 
I value my constructive relationships with authority, built on mutual respect and understanding. I am thankful for finding my place in teams, enjoying collaboration and feeling included. I appreciate the happiness and fulfillment that are now part of my life, rewriting my life's narrative with joy. I am grateful for navigating relationships with confidence, turning apprehensions into opportunities for connection. I cherish my redefined identity, focusing on strengths and positive attributes, and feeling whole. I am thankful for releasing past rejections, envisioning a future shaped by my choices and filled with hope. I appreciate my healthy coping mechanisms, which foster connections and reduce isolation. I am grateful for the meaningful connections of built, bringing joy and growth into my life. I cherish my balanced approach to solitude and relationships, enjoying both aspects of my life. I am thankful for creating a fulfilling life, surrounded by love and support. I appreciate the belief in a world where I find safety and lasting connections. I am grateful for letting go of the fear of loss, embracing the stability and love in my relationships. Section 6. Closing and Next Steps. Take a deep, rejuvenating breath. Congratulations on completing this transformative session. Take a note of how you feel in comparison to how you started, and consider journaling your notes about this session and any areas you'd like to explore. Be attentive to the potential reduction in the emotional weight of certain memories and actual circumstance shifts in your daily life. Note that it may take one, several or many uses of this program to completely clear or reframe this pattern and beliefs. This program and affirmations serve to fortify your inner journey toward a more empowered state. Feel free to revisit them whenever you need to. For more details, see the link in the bio or description.